Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be giving you a few beginner-friendly tips for how to create a Shopify website for your clothing apparel business. I'll be giving a few different tips for different sections that you can add to your website that can help to increase your website's conversion rate. And I'll also be showing you a few different elements and sections that you can add to your website to help to create a more engaging website. You can follow the tips in this video, whether you sell t-shirt products, hoodies, accessories, and more clothing products. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. For the first website design tip, this is an element that you can add to your website, which can help your customers to want to engage more with your brand by taking a look at your brand's social media pages. And this will be to add clickable social media icon elements to your website to help to promote your brand's social media pages. I'll be showing you a beginner-friendly way that you can display clickable social media icons on your website. To get started, you're going to want to open Shopify, then open your themes page. And I'm going to go in to customize my currently published theme. Once you open your website, your website may or may not already have an announcement bar. I'll be adding another announcement bar to the website, so I'm going to hover my mouse over the header section. Then you'll want to click add section to header. I'm going to insert an announcement bar section. And you'll also be able to reposition your announcement bar to the top of your website. When you click the text box under announcement bar, this will give you the option to edit the announcement text. You can add a welcome text, or you can also type in a shop announcement. You wanna click theme settings, then I'm gonna scroll down to social media. Under social accounts, you'll see different social media platforms and also a text box where you can paste in the link to your brand's social media page. So for example, under Facebook, you can paste in the link to your brand's Facebook page. And you want to repeat that step to list each of your brand's social media pages. Next, I'm going to click on this announcement bar. Then under social media icons, I will be selecting to display the social media icons on desktop. And as you can see, it has displayed the clickable social media icons. Then for a more minimal look, I'll be removing this announcement text so that this section only shows the social media icons. You'll also have the option to set a different color scheme. So I'll be applying a new color scheme to this section. And that is how to add clickable social media icons to your website. Then when you scroll to the bottom of your website, you can also select to display the social media icons on your footer bar. Here under social media icons is where you can select to display the icons. By displaying your social media icons on your website, it can help your customers to want to engage more with your brand by checking out your brand's social media pages. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. For this next tip, this can be a great way to make important product announcements and shipping announcements for your customers to see before they place their order. This will be to add cart page announcements. You can announce discounts, sales, and flash sales that you're running, as well as important shipping details and shipping times for your customers to see before they place their order. To add this kind of section to your website, first you'll want to open your website. And I'm going to scroll to the top and open the cart page. So here is my current cart page. And here's also the cart page with an example product added. So either above the subtotal section 
or the cart item section. I'm going to click add section to template. And here I'll be inserting a multi column. You can choose to remove or retitle the heading text. I'm also going to scroll down and I'll be removing the button label. I'm going to click on one of the columns and then you'll be able to add one of your cart page announcements. Under heading, I'll be adding a title to represent the cart announcement. Then under description is where you can add more details. So for an example, this can let the customer know before their order that if their order total is over $50, they can get free five to seven day shipping. Then to remove a column, you'll just want to click on a column, then click remove block. I'm going to click on the multi-column section. Then you can adjust the number of columns on desktop. And once you're finished, here are the displays of the cart announcements. I'm going to click on the mobile version. And this can show you an example of how the page may look on a mobile device. So here it is showing each column at a time. Then under mobile layout, I'll be enabling the swipe on mobile. This way on a mobile device, your customers will be able to just swipe to view the other announcements. You'll also have the option if you would like to center the column alignment. And you can also choose to display or remove the column background. And that is how to add cart page announcements to your website. And also since this is a multi-column section, you can add a section like that to other pages in your website, including your homepage, in case you would like to make shipping announcements on your homepage. Also, this website I'm showing is another one of my website templates. This theme is also designed for clothing and apparel businesses. And I will have this linked in my description box below. And then for the last tip, this can be an excellent way to help you build your website's email list. And this will be to add an email signup to your website. You can choose to add an email signup either in between sections or midway through your website. And you can also add one to the bottom of your website. The photo bar is one of the best places you can add an email signup because when customers are on other pages of your website, most likely they'll be able to scroll down and see the email signup section. I'll be showing you how to add an email signup to your website's footer bar. First, you're going to want to open your website, then scroll to the bottom and click on your footer bar. You'll see here under email signup, you'll be able to display an email signup. And this is where customers will be able to join your email list. Then under heading is where you can edit the text that appears above the email signup. You also have the option to put the text in bold, italic, and you can insert a link leading to another page within your website if you would like. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.